Hey everyone, how are you doing? We have a brand new update amongst us. We have some new technology coming out on the 7th. And on top of that, we have a brand new understanding to the way that they revised their optionals. I studied and I found out something cool. This is your boy MacGyver 7th, and you're tuning into the patch notes of the 20.2.1. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. One thing as I alluded in the intro that I wanted to point out is that you can see right here where the revision number is completely different and the size when I downloaded it was different as well. So I'm hoping that they were able to hammer out some stuff before they have this as their standard now going over because the 2020 is semi unreliable with a standard I kind of feel like for the most part. But for the most portion this is what they're recommending and they did fine tune it versus the last one so hopefully it fixed the blinking screens when you go between flickering screens sometimes. But on the fun situation that you can actually get into where the standpoint goes past that is that the 20.2.1 does offer some performance and a little decreasements but it seems like they balanced out a lot of cool stuff we'll get into some benchmarks but let's go ahead and take a look at our patch notes. What did it fix? First and foremost seems like Zombie Army Wars 4 Dead R War is going to be the more supported portion of why they fix this and push this, as well as Nvidia has their own for major launches where they need to uh, update the architecture. Now the fixed issues as you can see, the experiencing portion where the memory usage when utilizing the Radeon Live, HDR content may become um, a little bit darker or overly bright in the DirectX 12 with the APIs games on the RX 5000 series products. So these are newer fixed issues that they're definitely crossing off, which is nice to see as they clear a new month versus last month's issues they were trying to conquer. The camera elements may exhibit shutters and recording clips during streaming to utilize the Radeon clips. And I have been noticing some issues too myself, honestly, with OBS. So who knows, maybe OBS will make the list next week too. I literally had to shorten my cables uh, to my run just because it was like, I don't know. It, but it worked and I'm live so um, the scrolls in the missing bar of the users in the compatibility of the tab and the Radeon SARF so they're just making it way more user friendly which is pretty decent and then the Radeon software may fail to recognize the VR games in the streaming so they kind of fixed that with the anti-lag and the disabling the beep and the players now that one definitely has been something that they've been issuing like the last like month on top of the snap features that the audio tuning controls and the tuning uh, settings were applied. So th those are just like known issues that are, they have definitely hopefully polished up that won't make the list next week. Now, already off the bat, the API with the DirectX 11, the Radeon shopping enable the performing the task application crashes. On top of that, the Radeon Live and the instant replays for as far as the GIFs may have a UI flicker or a shutter. Um, it seems like the audio work may experience a limited number of displays when performing a mod change on the RX 5000 series uh, on the top of those. You know, losing the display with inside of those situations, just probably um, turn it off and on, try to unplug that HDMI, plug it back in, sometimes you can fix it. A system crash or hang up may occur when utilizing and running the uh, Final Fantasy uh, 14 for as far as the Shadow Bringers benchmark and the integral scanning may cause some videos to content to flicker when the display resolution is set less than native in order to fix that just bring that back up to the native so you're not pushing the card below it's like under voltage it seems like just tweaks it out and then the radeon uh, software for as far as the overlay hotkeys may experience some of the display video playbacks when the browser is inside of the applications just use a normal browser i've even noticed that when i refresh and try to download the radeon software um, it has issues uh, when you're trying to download it directly. So I, I go directly to AMD and, and port them over because then I also get the raw file and I can compare sizes and see if like there has been changes, um, which I noticed this week. Um, so if you are having issues with it, just go directly to the site. I have all that stuff linked down below. You can just very quickly click a link and just go directly over there. Um, so moving on past that situation, if you do have those issues, just try to stay away from the Radeon software integration of it porting you around the world and it's on like a little interweb point. It seems like they need to put a band-aid or two on top of it. The Radeon software may experience inconsistent sizes when in the previous size setting is open, the modified in the HDMI scaling in the shaders with many ports of a cause the fps to become locked at 30 sucks that, that totally sucks now some uh, rx 5700 cards are reporting in the intermediate black screens when it comes down to that and my radeon 7 is now becoming more of that as it kind of issues into that but it seems like this update's fixed it so i i don't know why i didn't make the list but uh, i don't know maybe there wasn't enough people complaining about it 
Uh, some games may exhibit um, shutterings and player to be down clocking on the RX 5000 series. So the RX 5000 series is kind of a hot mess right now. And then a black screen may occur when performing the modifications when limiting the displays on the 5700 graphics cards from multiple displays coming to play gameplay, you might get a little bit of an issue. So as you can see in the installation comp, um, package when we come in directly inside of here you can click down below so let's go ahead and go into some benchmarks let's go ahead and see what's going down and we'll go over the news of what's going on around the world for february 7th as we go into february 7th one of the things that they're going to be releasing is the 3990x now i'm hoping that this will be something that they're a little bit more prepared with uh, compared to the 3970 and the 3960x which i do believe were paper launches and i did interlude to that when i got into the first point we're trying to buy it you know there was very limited places where people had these uh, some people would be turned around and i think they're more looking at the point of how much they need to produce which isn't a bad thing they don't want to overproduce something and end up in a a dark hole of finances where they go but this one just they did a new refresh as it comes closer into there and it just rompa stomps everything i was watching uh red gaming tech and like he just like showed like where they were at and the, the benchmarks and the physics and everything the score was just great so you know february 7th amd fans are going to look forward to that in a few more days we're going to be looking at the uh, new horizon of creation for the threadripper series so with a starting time spy directx 12 we peer into the graphic score of a pretty decent portion for the standard of last week with the 20.1.4 we saw a very nice introduction of it pushing forward and in this week we see even a better push forward as we see them tuning the directx 12 to a higher standard so, I mean, you can see where it kind of goes up there. Our graphics score is going up even inside the portion of the, the CPU running. And maybe they're getting a little bit better with writing this stuff, but there are still some issues that they're kind of working out. So, for as far as our DirectX 12 on the base on the 1080p, it worked out quite well. But let's look at the 4K. And this is where you start to see some performance start to hinder itself. As looking at last week's as going to the score and going to this week's as we go into a little bit of a price reduction you can see that the graphics score is definitely not kicking butt as it normally would be as well as the cpu is kind of just taking a chill pill with that coordination but 4k is pretty tough it could have just been the whole portion of it just huffing and puffing a little too hard but not too bad scores as you can see i come across 61 percent not too shabby now taking a look at the directx 11 applications within the software right it comes to a nice standard now i take the 1080p fire strike with a grain of salt especially with cards that are over performers like a 2080 ti which is a little bit more dialed in consistency but with the new radeon software it seems like it kind of super saiyans and ko a little bit sometimes um so i don't really take it too much but this is a nice standard to go into past the you know here's our new optional and here's last week's optional and you can kind of see that yeah there are some improvements when it comes down to the physics as well as it comes down to just the graphics score but you notice that right now where it goes down to where the combined score is yeah goes up a little bit but it's decent i think that that's a pretty good run for as far as the applicationable point of pushing forward let's go ahead and look at the portion of the extreme as you can see last week's with the 20.1.4 it comes in pretty decent again as we compared the last optionals and the standards it was a little bit of a reduction but there was also a pretty decent portion of where you were before so to see this and go into where we are now where we're getting nice and increasements it, it, you know you're starting to see movement with our scores inside of that and that's a pretty big leap especially with the overclocking portion of it just being able to kind of like truck up but where the ultra is is where the 4k and the overclocking just hit the fan and see what mixes up and you can see right here last week's and what happens again another fire strike lead so directx 11 kicked butt you start seeing where they've added support for a game it's tuned out they've polished off a lot of the power munch of january issues and now we are given to a point should i upgrade i think so i think this option was pretty decent it took away a lot of the flickering screen issues that i have in my radeon card it pushed it a little bit farther and finally got a little bit more of what last week's optionals prior predecessor was kind of getting more dialed into so i think that this one's a pretty decent optional now i again will ask the community if you want to see me line up the last optional of the 2019 versus the quote unquote standard optional that they keep polishing um, through time now that i'm starting to notice for the 2020 software and now the optional that they push out every 
almost about like three times to four times a, a, a month so they're they're pretty persistent with that so if you guys and gals want to see that i might just make that its own video or i can just make it for the video um that's coming up with the uh, 20 dot 2.2 it will come out pretty soon but this is your boy macgyver 7th signing off saying thank you so much for uh hanging with me in this tech related stuff and there's a lot of cool stuff intel's dropping their prices because of like a fun gambit card that you know amd is doing but now we're wondering if big navi is going to be coming around the corner and there's so much cool stuff with that and all the surrounding situation because we've seen benchmarks and lisa said yes we might be seeing that uh very soon towards the end of this year we'll be seeing it but it might not be for sale until maybe February 7th seems to be a lot of time that they like to stuff, but Computex, once the Computex gets there. But that's enough of me talking, everyone. I'll see you guys and gals in the near future, and if you subscribe today, who knows, maybe in Resident Evil 3, I can run a mod that will play almost the choo-choo trade. That was amazing in Resident Evil 2. I don't know if most people didn't watch that, but just play. X is going to give it to you, and then the Thomas the choo-choo train mod, and it's just boss. It just, I don't even want to say anything much more than that. You should just watch it if you haven't already. And then leave a comment about what you have, like thought. It's pretty cool. All right, everyone. Enough subscription humor aside. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more tech-related news as well as AMD furtherment in their software. Should you upgrade or should you not? This time, I think you should.